We're that camping couple. We literally make a living digging holes and selling rocks. We've been living on the road for 16 months, mined in 20 states, and I've found precious gems, including diamonds, gold, and a whole lot more. In this video, we're taking you to the world famous Royal Peacock Opal Mine in Nevada, where we're searching for one of the most rare and valuable gemstones, black opal. You wanna see a piece of opal? <gasps> Don't tell me you already found one. I don't think it has any fire, but we definitely found some opal, some non-precious opal. Check that out. Ooh, wow. <laughs> but we're gonna dig this out and hopefully find some fire in here. Yeah, that's a great sign. Good mm -hmm. job. Only about 20% of opals here contain the fire. And once you find it, you have to instantly put it in water so that it doesn't crack due to its high water content. He's studying. So this definitely has opal take a look at that and then we'll put it in the water so oh it's so porous so these opals form mostly just like crystals in pockets so when you find one you usually find multiple we're going to dig this out right here and hopefully find a big one this is volcanic ash and a lot of times they said that you find opal underneath of it, but you won't find it in it. So what we're gonna do is take some of this opal burden off so we can dig this out better. Luckily, it's softer. A long time ago, there was a lake that was filled with rotting tree limbs. This lake got filled in with volcanic ash that was high in silica. The silica eventually percolated into the cavities of the wood and formed these opals. This has three pieces in it. I know. Here we go. Did you find something? Oh, nice branch that has opal <gasps> in it. Look at that. All right guys, so I pulled out two pieces and there's one left, let's check it out. Just popped out. <gasps> oh my goodness. That. There it is. Oh my. Super Jimmy, clear. So Kendall's been digging right here behind me where they pulled this up and found this awesome opalized limb. <laughs> Kendall found a pine cone right over here. Let's check it out. That's incredible. So you don't want to add these to water. They'll deteriorate. What a neat specimen. All right, guys. So I was digging here and I just popped this pine cone out. Check it out. I'll let Kendall show you that. Ooh, so beautiful. A complete pine cone. So I just pulled this piece out and all I saw was a little bit of white. And so I broke it out of the wall and it's actually fully opalized and going all the way through. So I'm gonna try to knock this piece out so we can get it in some water. Look at that. Okay, y'all, so I'm digging over here in this pile behind Frank, and I think I just found my first piece of black opal with fire. So we're here with Jake Anderson, fourth generation miner here at the Royal Peacock Mine, and he's gonna identify my piece for me. We're really hoping it's some black opal. Yeah, this would be considered uh, semi-black. <laughs> the Royal Peacock Opal Mine is one of our favorite mines in the country. It has been family owned since 1944 and resides in the world famous Virgin Valley. The mine offers bank digging and bountiful tailing dumps. I just knocked this big chunk out and found a bunch of little pieces of oh, opal. Wow. And there's actually a log or a branch in the wall right here. Oh my I'm goodness. I'm not sure if it goes down very far. I actually busted it up pretty good. I already picked up a few pieces. But we're gonna dig this out and hopefully there'll be a big branch. Oh, oh, there goes, here it is. There's a bunch of pieces. There's another Apache Tears. <laughs> there's some pieces of it. Ooh, gorgeous. Oh, 
So out here in the driest state in the country, there's a nice oasis right over this hill. Check this out. This was actually built around the 1880s, maybe a little earlier. They dammed up a bunch of ponds for the sheep and the cow ranching over here. And now, over a hundred years later, you've got this beautiful oasis. So Frank is finding them. Let's see what he's got. I got a nice long opal branch. Ooh, wow. There she is. Beautiful opal branch. That's a nice size too. There might be more of it because it did look like a crow. We got quite a bit of opal over here. I'm not sure if it has color, but there's two separate branches. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That came out nice. Yeah. Look at that. Let's go ahead and get this next piece. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there it is. <gasps> and it does have a little green in there. This is one of the most expensive mines we have personally visited. It costs $190 to dig in the bank per person per day, but we were able to make that money back in just one piece that was valued right, for over a thousand dollars. I just pulled this out of the wall and it actually keeps going, but check this out. Some really oh. nice play Ooh. of color. Wow. Let's pull this out already. Oh, look <gasps> at that. Oh. Ooh, that's got some good color in there. We're going to just set this in the water, you guys, and then we'll work it out later because we don't want to break it. And then let's get to digging on this. So there is a time constraint when you find these opals because you, if you don't get it out quick enough, it could risk cracking it. Adds a little bit of stress and fun, huh? <laughs> Let me see if I can get this one out real quick. Ooh, Frank. Maybe a little play color. Let's put that in the water as well. And then let me get to work on this. Bam. There's a little piece oh, on there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> wow. There's a piece. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. And then... So Frank just popped another beautiful piece out of that same spot. Check out the glassy look on that, you guys. Miss Nala got her a comfy spot on a rock. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's getting close to the end of the day. I just pulled this piece out. I don't see fire, but there could be some. It came out of here and it actually, another piece of it is still in the wall. So let's dig it out. Let's <gasps> show that. Wow. Oh, look at that. Wow. We got a matchy. I think it does have a little play. <gasps> nice. All right, here's the last piece. Wow. Oh, nice. Those are gorgeous. Woo. So Frank is taking his shot at the tailings piles. We're at the 20 to 30 year old tailings and he actually just found a piece of black opal. It even has some fire. Let's see if I can find it on the camera for y'all. There it is. In order for us to make a living mining gems, we have to make at least 10 times the cost of our expenses. For us, that includes gas, mining fees, and our stay. We were able to 10 times our money because we found thousands of dollars in opals. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about how we make an income living on the road. We will be mining in all 50 states and eventually all over the world. We love y'all and we'll see you in the next video.